Hi, welcome to Vera Yoga with Andrea. We are so glad you have joined us. Brian and I are here to bring you another wonderful show of Vera Yoga. That's right. Yes. Glad you joined us. And today's show is we're focusing it for runners. Right. The, for the legs and hips and stretching out your legs. So if you're a walker, like aren't we all? Yeah. Or a anybody jogger. can use this show to help you stretch out yes, yeah, your or legs. Or a mall walker. Mall walker, exactly. <laughs> if you're a shopper. Yeah. This is yoga for shoppers, right? That's right. Keep you going. <laughs> I saw, in fact, I uh, was watching Dancing with the Stars last night, mm -hmm. and they said the guy says, you know, I've been loving this, I've been doing it. The only thing is I have really tight hamstrings. I'm like, you need to practice you need yoga. yoga. <laughs> yeah. So, but before we actually get into some asana work, some physical work, we're going to talk about the breath, right? right. And teach them some breath work. And right. We're going to so. do a, a type of breath today called viloma. Mm -hmm. Viloma is a Sanskrit word that means against the grain. It's taking the normal direction of breath and changing it and dividing it into sections. Mm -hmm. And the reason we do this is we increase our lung capacity, we increase the control over our breath, and we can use our control to help us keep calm. Yes. in stressful situations. Well, you know, there was a recent thing on CNN about a guy who's a doctor who said that yoga practice and learning to breathe correctly can help to de decrease stress. And he says, basically, if you take good, you know, yoga class that they classically teach you how to breathe, you're going to decrease stress. That's so right. here we are. We're going to teach you how to do that. So if you're sitting on your couch, stay there on your couch. You don't have to, we're not doing asana yet. If you've already prepared yourself and you know that the show is coming on and you're sitting on the floor, great. Take a comfortable seat. And Brian, why don't you lead them through and how you teach it? I mean, we both teach it very similarly, so right. you can share that. All right, Veloma meaning against the grain, we divide the breath into sections. Now, something important to note before we start. If at any point in time you feel lightheaded or dizzy from the breathing technique, just return to a normal breath and it's okay. Yeah. So we just want to explore and see how our breath benefits, movement of our breath benefits us. We're going to divide the inhalation first. We divide it into little sections. We sip the breath in through the nose until our lungs are just about as full as we can get them and then take a little sip more. At no time do we clamp the throat shut. We let the throat stay open. We use the muscles of the rib cage mm -hmm. and of the diaphragm to draw yeah. the breath in. Yeah. So let's, uh, we're going to divide the inhale and then let the exhale be long and slow several times through and then we're going to flip that over yeah. and then take a long breath in and divide the exhale. Yeah, let's do it like, just let, them, let you experience it like four times on the inhale, do it four times and then, do that way. yeah, okay. All right. So, so let's, let's take get... a long inhale in through the nose and then exhale out through the nose. Now let's divide the breath on the inhale. Take it a quarter of the way in, pause, halfway in, Three quarters of the way in. Full breath in as much as you can get in. And long exhale. Divide again on the inhale. A quarter of the way in and pause. Halfway in and pause. Three quarters in and pause. Full breath in and pause. Full exhale. I feel like I'm growing taller when I do mm, that. Do. Inhale a quarter of the way in and pause. Halfway in and pause three quarters of the way in and pause, full breath in and pause at the very top, and then full exhale. And allow yourself to feel how your lungs expand forward, side, and back. Let's do it one more time on the inhale. Inhale a quarter of the way in and pause, halfway in and pause, three quarters of the way in and pause, full breath in and pause, full exhale. So now we switch. So nice steady breath in. And you, then you use your diaphragm and your abdominal muscles as you push the air out through your nose. Just quarter, quarter of the way. way out and pause. Halfway out and pause. Three quarters of the way out and pause. Full breath out. And now draw the abdomen in just a little. Pull it in as you squeeze the last breath out and then inhale all the way. I find that the pausing on the exhales, I work a little harder. Exhale, quarter of the way and pause. Halfway and pause, out through the nose. Three quarters of the way out and pause. Full breath out and pause. Work harder if you need to. Mm -hmm. Full inhale. You're really using your diaphragm and abdominal muscles to push that air out and pause and hold it out. Exhale, quarter of the way out and pause. Halfway out and pause. Three quarters of the way out and pause. Full breath out and pause and squeeze the abdomen in just a little. Full breath in. Once more. Exhale a quarter of the way and pause. Halfway out and pause. 
three quarters of the way out and pause. Full breath out and pause and squeeze the abdomen in just a little. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, I, I think back on this. I, when I was a kid, a teenager, I played the flute. And we worked our abdomen and diaphragm like that. So I was doing yoga breathing when I was a teenager, not even knowing not it. Not knowing it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can practice that at any time, even when you're in the car, you're driving, you know, keep your eyes open, but you can remember, oh yeah, the loma or against the grain or just timed breath. You might be driving and you're coming home from work. It's a great way to just de-stress, oh, really practice That's your breathing. Help de-stress. Uh -huh. Well, let's get into some asana movement. That's right. Huh? Yeah. So. In our very yoga practice, we honor the back. It is important to move your spine in six directions every day. Mm -hmm. Forward bend, back bend, side and side, and then twist one direction and twist the other. Yeah. So we have several very yoga sequences that address that. this. Yes. yes. Uh, so we're going to do one in a seated position where our legs are out in front of us in staff pose. But I'm going to change and put the blanket under my knees. You don't have to do that. Oh, good. So good variations. So yes, we're showing variations. It, sometimes your uh, knees, yeah. if they're straight down the floor, if you have tightness in your low back, bending the knees or supporting the knees helps release that tension. That's okay. right. All right. So we're going to be moving with our breath, moving mm -hmm. forward and back. So inhale, take your hands up, bend your knees as much as is right for you. Exhale, reach out toward your toes, your shins, your ankles, whatever I'm fits. Bend my knees a little bit, even no, no blanket underneath. Yeah. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take your hands to the floor behind you. Hi, friend. Hi. <laughs> and then tip your pelvis forward, take your heart forward and lift up, stretch between your shoulders and the front of your chest. Exhale, neutral. Good. Inhale, hands up. Reach out forward, exhale again, a little bit, a medium amount, or a lot, you choose. Inhale, hands up, exhale, arms wide, and down and back, and then lift your heart, tip your pelvis forward, this is moving your spine, arching your back, exhale, neutral. Good. So when we come up like this and go forward, it's a forward bend. That's right, moving the spine in a forward direction. And then we come up, straight up. Spine is neutral, but then we go into a back bend. That's right. Sway in the back. Good. And back to neutral. Okay. And now we're going to go side to side. Okay. And at home, we're going to be mirroring you, so just do what the words that we say, and we're going to be doing the opposite. Take both of your hands up. Take your right hand to the floor by the side of you and lift your left hand up and over and ground through your left leg as you stretch the left side of the body. Inhale both hands up. Now take your left hand down and right hand reaches up and over, ground through your right leg as you stretch over to your left. Inhale back up. Again, to your side. Now, right oh, hand in down. Sanskrit, that's parjva, is side. And you're getting a good length and lateral stretch in your for parjva. Your, in your parjva. Inhale up. <laughs> in your side. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Open up and expanding between the ribs. Yeah. Go one more time. One more time. Over take to it your to your side. right. Our Anchor lefty. into that left leg. Inhale up, and then to your left. Now this is the third and fourth direction of spinal movement. And now for five and six. Yep. Twist to your right, left hand to your right leg, right hand to the floor behind. Inhale, both hands up. Yes. Sweep wide, twist to your left. So many of you may have, have done the sequence with us with yourself Inhale sitting up. in a cross-legged position, but we wanted to show you that you can actually do it with your legs straight. Sometimes those cross-legged positions are not accessible to people who have maybe some knee issues. So here you can still do spinal movements. That's the beauty of very yoga. Yeah. One more time, take it to your right. Inhale up. Last time to your left. Yeah. And then we're gonna move into a seated twist. Not this, this is one way we were twisting, but now to bring the legs into position. So I want you to bend your right knee and bring your right foot, I think we're gonna go just to the outside of their, go the outside of your knee or to your calf. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna pull against the, use your left hand and pull against your knee and just twist, taking the other hand to the floor behind you and sitting up nice and straight. And let us flex the foot on flex, the outside, yep. stretch leg. Exactly. And press into that right foot, so press it into the floor to get some connection with the floor so you can twist more deeply, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And then let's do one thing here for our neck. As you are turning your torso to the right, slowly turn your head back to the screen. Just look straight back at the screen, at the television or your computer, or how you're viewing this, and then turn away. So, and back again. So if you find yourself, you're traveling, and you want to catch the show, we, we now have many shows on a site called Vimeo. It's 
video with the M for the D. And you can then just, if you're in, you find yourself in your hotel room and you want to do a little yoga, just... Mm -hmm. Go to Vimeo.com and type in Barry Yoga yeah. and you'll find our videos. Let's change sides. Take the other foot to the other side. Yeah, we'll be sort of having quite a few up there. Mm -hmm. Take your hand to the, uh, your opposite hand to the opposite knee and then you're going to twist around looking over your shoulder. Place that hand on the floor behind you to get a nice lift. Push down into the floor. Lengthen up through your spine. Then your torso is turning away from the screen, but let's turn our heads back to face the screen. Good. Turn away, and I do it as on the inhale, I lengthen up and turn to the side, and then exhale back to center. Yeah. Let's do that two more times. It's a nice way to release some tension out of the neck. Yeah, and turn, good. And once more. Excellent. And then back to center. We're going to then move into a, a pose that releases our hips. Bala Dolikasana, right? Bala Baby Dolikasana. Cradle. Baby cradle. So I want you to take your right foot, hold it in your left hand. Now Brian has a lot of flexibility in his hips, and show them another way they can hold. They can bring, whoo, you wrap your hands like, yeah, yeah right away, right, like that. Or, so find what works for you, or just hold, or just a baby cradle. That's yes. it. So I'm going to hold my foot with my left hand and just hold my knee with my right. And we're back side to side, but also forward and back. So just start to move what works for you. Yeah. Don't be intimidated by people who have a lot of range of motion. Do what's right for you. You get such benefit. Yes. Even out of little motion, little movements. Yeah. Makes just, such yeah. a difference. I mean, some people, they go, pick up my foot. Well, maybe your foot's out here. That's Start there. Start with the baby steps. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't learn to ride a bicycle, just get on it and no training wheels. Maybe somebody did, but <laughs> most of us had to take baby steps, <laughs> even when we've learned to walk. So yoga is very similar. That's why we, over the years, have created Vary Yoga to make it more accessible to more people. And then let's change sides. Pick up your left foot. Hold your left foot with your right hand. Hold your left knee with your left hand. Or hold it in the crook of your elbow, whatever's going to give you the most benefit for you. So you might want to try it. And maybe you practice this for a while, and all of a sudden you can cradle your whole, just like Brian's doing. Get your foot in your crook of your elbow. Good for you. Or you hold your knee with your hand. Hold your foot with your hand. Yeah. Excellent. So, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right, we've got we're some do, twists going on now. We're Another going to one. use our strap. We're going to do a pose called head to knee pose. Yeah. Janu is the Sanskrit word for knee, and shirsha means head. So let me show you a little bit about these straps. These are uh, yoga straps. Mm -hmm. We have them at the yoga center, at Arkansas Yoga Center. You can buy them there, get them online. But we like them because they have D-rings. We're not going to use the D-ring today, but the nice thing about it is it's a soft cotton strap that's about an inch and a half wide, which is perfect. To help you. They're about eight feet long. Yeah, they're about eight feet long. These are eight feet long, yes. Okay. So. All right, so I want you to move over to the left side of your mat at home. We're mirror imaging you, so we're moving a little bit over to the left side. And that's where we're assuming you have a mat. Right, or just on your floor. <laughs> on the floor. And yeah. then bring your right foot up. Right foot goes to the inside of the left thigh, and the knee goes down to the floor. Okay. Again, in Vary Yoga, one size does not fit all. If necessary, if this is too much on the inner thigh, use a blanket or a pillow or something else to prop your knee up so that it doesn't cause you any distress. Good job. And we're gonna take the strap. And the heel doesn't, the foot doesn't have to come way up into the... It doesn't have to come way up to the, to the uh, pelvis. Pelvis, right. Just can be right in the thigh there. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. Put the strap around the ball of your foot. And if it's reaching the toes like this, it's hard, bend your knee and place Excellent. it. Excellent. And then straighten it. So you have variations here. Or yeah. there's a, you know, you can just flip it down there. <laughs> Lasso your That's foot. Right. Say that. Lasso. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now the strap should go around the ball of your foot and not the arch. Sometimes it's really easy to let that strap slip down to the arch, but put it on the ball of the foot. The ball of the foot and the heel of the foot are made to bear weight. You know what's really fun too? Is it, I just saw you do that. I want to add that. Oh. Just, you just do a little massage. Oh, that feels, feels so, so good. So if you have a strap and you're doing it, just do this with us. Just massage the bottom of your foot. That's so new. Good. I like that. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It gives a little heat there. Don't go too fast. You'll get a strap burn. <laughs> okay. All right. You're All right. going to turn your torso toward your outstretched leg. There's a little okay. strap trick that we do. You can hold it with your hands like this, or you can take the strap and wrap it around the back of your hands. It gives you a little better grip on the strap. And it's all right to hold it the other way. This is just a variation. Okay. Now lift up your heart. Let your elbows move away from each other. And you don't have to go far. You may already be feeling the intense stretch. Also, keep your heel down. One, keep, keep the heel, heel down. down. Don't hyperextend right. your knee. Yeah. So rather than round over 
let your heart lift up so that your abdomen moves forward and you should feel this in the back of your calf. If you're feeling it too much in the back of your knee, bend your knee a little bit or you can put a blanket under your knee as we did earlier. As I did okay. earlier. I'm going to show them that one. Yeah. Okay, you good. keep yours there and I'll put, yeah, this will, right. I can no, no way can I uh, lock my knee now. So That's right. No hyperextension here. Good. Now this is also, this is good for runners, it's good for uh, the muscles and the legs as we, as we run, they get tight. This is a great stretch for the calf and the hamstring. Yes. Do you know what, we're going to do some things now that are twists that are good for the shoulders okay. as well. Let's come up, I want you to take both sides of the strap, now you at home take both sides of your strap, the buckle and the loose end, about the same distance from your foot, and take it over the top of your leg that the knee is bent over your right leg. Now we're going to keep the strap taut, and then bend the knee just a little bit. Take your left hand, same side that the strap is on the foot, bring it around behind and hold the strap. As you straighten your leg, you're going to turn to your left. So your right hand goes to your left knee and the torso turns and it pulls the hand around. You are in control. You're the master of your mat. So if you need to let the strap slip a little bit in your hand so it's not as tight, that's fine. Lift up your heart, mm. shoulders go back. Feel how that's opening your shoulder. Yeah, I love it. I love it when you bend the knee and then you twist a little more and then straighten the leg and it twists you a little deeper. It's great. Yeah. This is twists are wonderful for your metabolism and digestion. The ideal thing is uh, don't film a show right after lunch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But we don't have that option, Sometimes so that's not it's better to practice yoga on a little bit of an empty stomach than a full stomach. But sometimes we don't have that option. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's come back around. Okay. And now we're going to take oh. both yeah. sides of the strap down the side of the straight leg. You bend the knee, yeah, take your right hand around behind, hold both sides of the strap. Left hand goes down. You can hold the strap as you straighten the leg and twist to your right. You can leave your hand on the strap or bring your left hand to your right knee. Now you might find this is going this direction, it feels a little easier. And, we, and mm -hmm. it usually is because it's an open twist. Mm -hmm. You're opening away from the straight leg. You're giving your more room in your torso and your shoulders to move. So see if you can deepen in your twist, but relax your shoulders. Don't go too far. Find your, your optimum twist. That's right. And keep breathing in and out through your nose. And smile. Yeah. Let's come back around the center and one more time let's fold forward. Okay. Reach down toward your foot. You can wrap your hands so, around, wrap the strap around you as we did before. Yeah. Your hands. And we're gonna be the, one reason we're calling the show for runners is because we are working a lot of uh, stretch for the legs. Mm -hmm. And hamstrings is an issue for a lot of runners and also hips, being tight in your hips. So please tune in if you are just watching now and join us for some deep stretches for your legs. Great. Let's and come we're up now. Change, we're change size. Okay. I'm just going to catch my strap. Ah, take your right leg down, scoot a little over to the right if you're on your mat, so that you have room for your left leg to be on the mat. Left foot comes in to the mm -hmm. inner thigh. You choose how far, how close to your pelvis. Move the blanket under your, your straight leg now if you wish to use a blanket. Or support your knee. Or that's right. Yeah, either one. Very Or okay. both. Yeah. Or both. <laughs> yeah. ah, so if you would like to do a little strap technique, Make sure that you're holding close to your foot, because if you're holding back close to your body, then everything gets tied in your shoulders, yeah. and that's a little too tight up here. So we want to reach forward and let things stay open. Ah. Lift up your heart. Elbows move away from each other. You choose how far to go. And the thing I've learned over the years with this is let your head be in a neutral space. Yeah. You're not trying to lead with your chin. You don't get closer by leading with your chin. <laughs> in fact, just take your gaze down to your shin so you have a nice... Yeah. Softens the neck. Mm -hmm. Breathe. And I feel my hamstrings saying, thank you. So. Let's come up. Now, let Close. the buckle and the loose end be the same distance from your foot. You're mm -hmm. going to take it over the top of the bent knee leg. Keep it taut so that it's across. Oh, we forgot something. What's that? Oh, yeah, on this foot. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Not going to miss this. That no, puts a good on the I know. It's really a nice thing to do for your foot. And just use your strap to give some uh, mm. massage the bottom of your foot. Oh, you know, we, we just abuse our feet. At, you know, wearing high heels and they get sore, they get tired. Well, just take care of them. You don't, yeah. <laughs> you don't wear them, Brian? No. no. I can so avenge you. Close twist, huh? Yeah. Yes, this is the close twist. Your right hand goes around behind. And then straighten your right leg. Left hand comes to the outside of your right knee or holds mm. the strap. Twist to your right. 
onto your shoulder. Yeah. If you're too tight, it's gonna be all bound up. You can loosen it just a little bit. That's why we're using a strap. Then you can choose how far you have close to your foot that you hold. And make sure your heel on your straight leg stays on the floor. Sometimes we want to pop our leg, foot up. Just keep the heel down. And then we and go into an around. open twist. Now take both sides of the strip, strap. <laughs> strip. <laughs> down the right side of your body along the straight leg side. You bend the knee, keep the strap taut. Mm -hmm. Left hand goes around behind. Right hand either goes to the strap or to the knee. Straighten your leg as you turn to Open your left. Open twist. Ah. They do aid in digestion, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna be hungry mm -hmm. even though mm -hmm. I had lunch. <laughs> we did a little, yes, a little twisting before lunch and it got us all good and hungry. Shoulders away from your ears. Let, lengthen up through your torso, good. And then we should release and can fold one more time. And we've got one more sequence for them That's to right. do. Well, a, a variation on a, the hamstring stretch. It's when we do let you do lying on your back. Yeah. So let's come up and we'll move into that. I think what we'll do is we'll lie on our backs with our heads this way so they can see our legs and what we do. So we're, you're gonna lie down. Come on your backs with us. Brian's got a blanket. He's gonna use his blanket. I'm just gonna lie on my mat. Roll down onto your backs like this. Knees stay bent at first. And since we're facing the same direction we use this, we're gonna go the same direction. So you're gonna okay. start with your right leg and place the strap around the ball of your right foot. We're still using the straps here. Take your leg up in the air. Keep your right, your left knee bent for us for now. And then just gently pull your strap towards you. Yep. Just hold it for a, just a couple breaths here. We don't have a whole lot of time left, so we want to just at least show you this sequence so you can introduce this into your home practice. I also recommend you hold close to your foot on this because if yep. you're holding too, too far down, you have no room to move. Yes, so. good point. Elbows out to the side and shoulders released to the floor. And now straighten your left leg to the floor. Put the strap in your right hand. We're going to get an inner thigh stretch going on here. Left arm out to the side and right leg out and over to the right. You can bring it on over, buddy. neighbor. <laughs> You're good. And breathe. So we have to sort of go a little faster through this than normal, but just to get to see you to see the sequence, and then you can hold it longer. You can do it fa uh, slower if you want. Bring your leg up. Put the strap in your left hand and take your right leg over. Here's a nice yeah. deep twist. You can hold my leg. Thank you, Brian. I just had a pedicure, so my feet are all clean. <laughs> good. And then bring your leg back up. Good. And just this is the, we're just doing three points of this sequence right now. So just bring your left leg up, catch the strap with your left foot just behind the, the toes, and put your right foot back on the floor, knee bent. Pull your left leg towards you, as Brian was saying. Keep the hands up close to your foot so you get a little more uh, distance from the floor. Your sh your elbows, shoulders though, press into the mat. Feel the stretch. I feel it in the back of my leg, the calf, the hamstrings. Oh, this is so good. If you sit a lot in, in, at work, a desk job, that also is, can be tightening of the hamstrings. And then we're going to open up the inner thigh, the adductor. Put the strap in your left hand. Right arm reaches out and straighten your right leg to the floor. And let's take our legs over. Got a little support here from my friend. Good. If you're doing this with a friend at home, maybe you can do a little partner yoga partner here. Partner yoga. Yeah. Good. And breathe. Good. And the thing about the breath, too, it helps you release deeper into the poses. You ever notice that when you finally pay attention to your breath and you go, oh, I was holding, yes. I was holding my breath. Bring your leg back up. Transfer the strap to your right hand. And let's take the leg across. And I'll catch your foot, Brian. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So a deep twist. And you're rolling to the outside of that right thigh as you push from your left heel, I mean, the left hip through the left heel getting a nice twist for the torso, a lower abdomen twist. Keep the breath going, good. On your next inhale, bring your leg back up. And let's take the strap off of our foot and lower your leg to the floor. Now we have one last pose to do here. It's called Shavasana, and I think Brian's gonna lead us just for a few minutes. We don't have much time left. Just a couple minutes left, okay. So I'm gonna get ready for this, this is right. my favorite thing to do. I'm going to just lie down on my facing this way. 
Just observing the natural body, we inhale and we exhale. It is important to have both of those. The inhale represents the work of our practice and the exhale represents Shavasana. Mm. So for this, these few moments, give yourself permission to let go, to relax. I want you to feel from your hips to your toes. Take a breath in, exhale, release your hips and your legs all the way down to your toes. You can wiggle them around a little bit and release down. Ah, take another gentle breath in. And as you exhale, release from your shoulders to your fingertips. If you want to wiggle your hands and your arms and your wrists around and then let them go to the floor. Good. Take another breath in. Then exhale, release from the crown of your head, down the back of your neck, down the spine between the shoulders, all the way down to the hips. And then let your body relax to the floor. Soften your jaw. You can move the jaw a little side to side just to feel the muscles in the face, feel that movement. Ah, and then soften your jaw. Relax the muscles around your face, your cheeks, your temples, your forehead. Ah, relax the muscles around your eyes, eyebrows, eyelids. Relax your face down. Now breathe. Exhale, release from the crown of your head, with your face soft, down the shoulders to the fingers, down the spine to the hips to the toes. And enjoy this time of rest. Thank you for joining us today. Take time for yourself. Practice with us. And celebrate life. And breathe.